Okay, we're live. Well, at least I think I'm live. Um, good evening, anyone. Good evening. Good afternoon to anybody who's in here. Um, thanks for stopping by. This is really an impromptu and a pop-up kind of live stream. Um, so it, here in the cave, it's come to a couple times I've needed to drill something, and I haven't really wanted to use like a, a hand drill because you know you you know your typical hand drill. You try to drill something down, but you may not be straight. You wobble, you make the hole bigger. You know, if it's a small enough bit, you snap it. And I didn't think I'd have to do that much of it here in this office. I thought maybe in the where I have my heavy equipment it would all be, but it's been quite a few times that I, I need one. So I saw this on Amazon. It's a mini drill press. Let me see if see if this camera works. So yeah, big Amazon sticker here on the side. So it's like a what it basically looks like the motor of a of a hand drill but it's mounted on a mechanism so you can go up and down a transom so i thought all right it's only 99 bucks i brought it in and so i figured why answer some questions today i i'd assemble it Let's see who we got in here oh todd's in here yeah ex i i have a cordless a cordless dremel but it doesn't have much power to it and some of the stuff I got to go here, I got to like go through like a two by four maybe. So if you're not, I'll give this a shot. And it's a reason to buy a tool, you know. So let's crack it open. You've been busy with a lot of your builds. I, I don't know how you're doing all that. The Enterprise, the fire truck. Um, like, you know, the fire trucks really turned out to be really cool. I, I really like that one. Is it on there? I thought I took it off. Oh, no, you're right. Well, it's moot now. I looked all over this because, it's, believe it or not, they sent this in a box. So I looked, but not that hard, thinking, oh, it must not be on here. Oh, well, now people can come and visit me. Metal bar. Now, and it helps that it comes with Maker Escape Green, you know. I have boxes piling up with the other. I know, I haven't even gotten back to the Terminator yet. Um, now, Eagle Moss is starting to send stuff fast and furious. I, I, I got two boxes of Enterprise, and a Back to the Future, and if my email is, is correct from them, I've got another Back to the Future that just shipped yesterday, so that should be here next week, roughly. And I haven't gotten Pack 5 yet of the, uh, of the fire truck yet. What are you off today, Todd? Because this is kind of early for you, isn't it? Because where you're at, it would still only be like noon. I played hooky all week. I took off. Some tools. There's basically what it looks like in the box. Working at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> Like I work when I'm at the agency, yeah. Well, it looks like assembly is not going to be all that hard. <laughs> Should I use the directions? Directions are not exactly uh, plentiful. And basically, all it says is you want to take the base. And I guess these tighten up the drill head on it. I 
it slides in there. And this little pack of uh, tools they give you. What else you do? Right, let me see if I can get you all nauseous moving around. So there's just two Allen screws back here. You know, this is, I just realized I got you on the wrong. There we go. I had the wrong window picked in OBS. Chucky, and here's one of the, oh, I got the right Allen key right out of the gate. I looked at those modifications you made of the fire truck. I just ain't got the time. Good English, huh? They look really cool, though. And the Enterprise, you got an app dwelling in the world of coding. You even got an Android app going for it, which is really cool. is really loose. All right, that's on. Power cord. And I said I had stuff to drill here. Now I'm looking around though. I think it took everything out of here. So I think this is pretty self-explanatory. I still got it backwards. And then you can adjust the overall height with this to bring it all the way down, which I think I might do. Because everything I want to do is I want to do close down to this base, so. You release these two here. And then you can adjust your overall height of the drill head. And then you can, so it's got a pretty good throat in there. Trash. Maybe you don't adjust this. It looks like you do. Ah, it's the biggest one. I'll undo this. Undo this. Yeah, right about. I think right about there is good. Well, the assembly was really easy. I need to do a couple modifications to the uh, to some models I was doing, and I wanted to make sure I got a perfectly good straight hole. That's what made me want to do this. And make some more noise. All right, it comes with two extra um, 
bushings too, so it's not a bushless motor, so you want to make sure you keep those handy. Call it. I thought it was going to take more to set this up, but apparently not. I just need to make sure it's turned off first. Let me go in front of the camera for a plug. Now, do I have an empty plug? This one goes to that camera. Ah, here we go. All right, hold your ears. I want to turn it on real quick. It's about as loud as a hand drill. Now I need some drill bits. I thought I had some brad points here, but, huh, brad points. This is another exciting live stream here. One. So I'm tightening this up, no different than a normal drill press, it's a three-point chuck. I have quarter Dremel so I get the... Yeah, I have a... Um, I have a quarter Dremel. I think that's still at the other other um, work area, and I also have um, the Ryobi, uh, which I need to bring over here. Um, the Ryobi uh, Dremel. It's got the pencil point with the cord that goes back to the motor. It works off their 18 volt uh, plus system, which I have a lot of. I have a lot of tools on that system, so that's pretty cool. Now, because the directions be damned. It looks like yeah there's the small there's even a speed control right there that's pretty good and again I'm going to apologize I keep looking over here instead of up here because my monitor is over here so like I said before I have a tendency to talk to the monitor I, I got to get a monitor in front of here but Now, all I want to do is I want to adjust this over a little bit. Not quite like that, but I want to make sure that drill bit comes right down. Again, I don't know if you're going to be able to see. Oh, yeah, you can. I want to make sure when I bring the drill down, it goes over the hole that's here. So now let's, let's find something to drill into. I can't believe I don't have anything here. I got acrylic. That's always risky. Everything we've built here, I have no extra wood. Oh, did I see someone approaching the door. Maybe not. I thought Katrina was bringing me something. You, is someone knocking? Yes, that'll work. You know, it's, you guys have to make a new one. Yeah. It's, um, Turn that to the side so we can see it. what's that? Well, they're right oh, like this. Yeah, so we can see what you're doing. Thank you, producer. Um, it's the base for my spray booth. Okay. So let's turn it on and see if it drills here. You can see live action. Somebody will clean that up later. Mostly tree. You know what? There's the hole right. Oh, jeez. I can't believe I just drilled a hole in the in, in black. 
Um, that's a clean hole. Well, wow, that's really nice. That is really cool. So, <laughs> so much for this setup. Uh, we did it. We assembled it. It was like what three pieces? It was the, it was the base. On, actually, it was, no, it was two pieces. This part just screwed into here. Um, it works great. You can adjust the height. You can adjust the speed. Uh, it cuts a clean hole if you got a good bit. Like I said, did I tell you it's, var it's variable speed? There's also a depth stop here, a depth, depth stop. See that three times quick. So that's, that's handy weight. Right? right here. Huh. All right, so we can add that again. Add, or add it again. We can add that to the arsenal of tools. Um, that was a lot better than drilling through the acrylic. Yeah, it was, I can't remember. I think it was something I want to do for the Eleanor. I need to make a real small hole. So if you're, oh, I need that. And there's also something I'm doing. I'm making a, um, a mounting arm for in my Jeep for my uh, two-way two -way ham radio. And I need to drill through a PVC pipe. I need to go perfectly straight so it looks nice and neat. So I guess it was only 99 bucks off of Amazon. And uh, I'll put a link below to, to, to it. I think, it's, I think it's well worth the money. If you're limited on space and you don't do a lot of, you know, big drilling, this is perfect for the... For the workbench. That's it for this this stream. That was quick. Any questions? <laughs> I'm here. And of course, you know I have the monitor on the smallest print possible, so it's hard for me to read. Get some ear plugs. I have um, actual ear ear coverings, and I will probably use that when I'm doing this because it's a small room in here and it's noisy. It probably you probably heard how noisy it was. It's not super noisy, but I wouldn't want to be in front of it all the time doing it. I used to have the little styrofoam things you put in your ear and you throw them away, but I, I didn't care for them too much. But I like the I uh, I think they're from Home Depot. They were 3M. I put them over there and they're really noise canceling. They're pretty cool. I also have some noise canceling headphones that I listen to music in, but I don't like to listen to music when I'm working machinery. That's too too distracting. I, I like to count to 10. From one to 10, I don't know. I mean, if you were comparing against anything else, I, I'd, I'd give it an eight. I mean, I don't give anything a 10 because nothing's ever perfect. But um, yeah, yeah. Rated eight. I'd rate it an eight, um, maybe even a nine, because I don't know what more you could really do. You know, maybe a plexiglass drop front here, so to protect anything from flying off. Uh, you're definitely going to need some kind of a small hobby vice to hold anything. Um, I had one of those at the other shop. I meant to bring that with me today, and I don't. There are mounting slots here for vices and everything. So, and there's also mounting holes back here, so you can mount it right to. Uh, right right to your bench. I don't know what else. I was trying to keep the live stream going, but other than that, Todd, I don't have much going on. I just model kit at the model kit. I um I took the week off to catch up on everything. I did a live stream. I guess you probably saw that in the first two stages of the fire truck. <laughs> you drill the hole from the desk. I you know, I I've, I've done that with um I had I had a a bench top, an old bench top uh, drill press, and I wasn't paying attention to how low I had the carriage. It wasn't like this it was a bigger one, and I <laughs> I drilled right through the um, the bench it was on because it had a massive hole in the middle. I don't know why I had such a massive hole in the middle, but I, I again I think I was talking to somebody and I just kept going down and going down. And I think I even said to myself, "Boy, this wood's awfully deep." You can see now I had a hole in the, the bench top. Oh, it, well, I don't want to, um, 
Yeah, I because you saw when I was cutting, I had to kind of hold this on. I was, I was actually going to put this probably back here somewhere. Uh, more than likely, what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to mount this on a piece of three inch uh, piece of plywood that's obviously wider than the base of this, and then I then I can use um, some vices or some C clamps to hold it on there when I want to pull it out from the front. But um, I may be changing the setup in well, not really. We are changing the setup on here. We're um, excuse me. We kind of made a deal for the place next door to us here. So it looks like we're, <laughs> we're going to be moving again. Um, so the way uh, Katrina has everything all planned out for where I'm going to be, I'm going to have a real long workbench, uh, not kind of like this mess you see that's going on here. So I'll actually be able to permanently mount this, which would be really nice, because I can actually think of quite a few things that I'll probably go into this for. I mean... I have some drum sanders too that I can put in here for sanding parts, especially uh, the rough 3D parts that I, that I print. Sometimes I need to sand them up real quick and I don't want to bring a, a sander into here. Um, and hand sanding is a little too slow, so this would probably be just perfect if I get a little drum sander and I can do that. So I, I think I might be using this for a, a bit more than what I think. And we also I also have a um, X tool we just got in which is a hybrid vinyl cutter and laser, uh, laser uh, cutter, um, which I'm going to be unboxing and going over. I'll probably be doing that maybe later this week or maybe on this Sunday's live stream, which I'm going to do at one. Uh, so it's a desk. It's kind of like the um, Glowforge, uh, but this company um, was a startup. And what it does is, it, like I said, it also cuts vinyl. So I thought that would be nice to have an auxiliary vinyl cutter in here. And something that I can do, and you know, I got the big laser cutter at the other place, but sometimes I just need, need to do some tiny little um, uh, laser cutting. Uh, one of the things that I really wanted the a, a benchtop laser cutter in here for is, this is the, um, this is my MDT uh, envelope. So, uh, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this, but this is a piece of acrylic that I'm using for the, screen of the MDT for the fire truck and I, I need I, it'd be nice if I didn't have to cut that at the other place but um, I thought I had some prototype of it here's like I said here's the one the if you see these real I don't know if you can see it Todd but there's some super small wires here that's actually for an LED that goes behind the frame and then there's a small New York City map in here. So that's where I am with the MDT project for the fire truck. I, it, I'm going to get that thing to work. It's the last thing I do. I'm using right now 0402 um, LEDs, which are the same LEDs from what I can tell that um, light my bricks use. So they're pretty small. I should be able to get them into the frame that I'm creating for the the MDT for the fire truck. All right, so we're going to summarize here real quick, and then we're going to end the uh, this live stream because it was pretty quick. This is the Mini Q Mini Drill Press that I picked up off of Amazon for about a hundred bucks. Um, it was real simple uh, to assemble. It had only two pieces. It had this section right here and the base plate. It came with some Allen wrenches to do all the, the assembly and it came with an extra set of brushes for the motor uh, right here and on here on the other side, of course, where the brushes go on the motor. So if you use it, use it a lot, you'll go through them. So you may want to order some extras. Um, but otherwise, like I said, you know, the gentleman here wanted me to rate it, you know, one to 10 and I originally said eight, but I think nine so far. I mean, I give an extra point for being in my favorite color, the Maker's Cave Green. But like I said, we drilled a hole. The hole was real nice, went through it no problem. It was straight, it didn't wobble. Uh, there is a variable speed right here. You can adjust it. So there you go. That's the Mini Q Mini Drill Press. I want to thank everybody who popped in here real quick. 
and I'll be talking to everybody later. Take care. And another dramatic exit that I couldn't find. Oh, I don't know. Let, um, I don't see why not. Let's let's find out, Todd. So you unloosen these two right here, and that allows this whole assembly to go up and down on this tube. I don't see there's anything that would stop it. So the answer to that is yes. You know, um, again, you, you can adjust this collar right here to make it go even lower. But yeah, you could you could do it that way. Oh, you meant 90 degrees like the, which way do you mean? Like this way? Or, or have I got it right, Todd, what you were asking? Or you looking at the other way? Like, let's see if I can get it off. Or were you talking like this? Be horizontal. Oh, okay. Well, now that's interesting how you could, I'm sure you could make something. Yeah. Well, I didn't know what he meant by horizontal. She's out there giving me crap because I didn't decipher your message right. Um, yeah, I guess you could make something that would allow it to do that. That would be pretty cool. Now you got me thinking. Because then you could put a disc sander, a, a disc in there, and you could do that as a, as a side sander, which would be really cool. Oh, great, another project. Yeah. That's what we're going to do. I mean, if, yeah, if you thought it, well, you seem to have a lot of time on your hands to do crazy stuff. Yeah, I was just, I was just wondering how you could, how you could do that. Yeah, if you made a big enough wooden base, I guess, uh, and this pipe is probably normal diameter, you could slide something this way. And I guess it could be done. That's a really cool idea. I don't know if they even make a mini, um, mini bench a mini uh, bench sander but the problem is not to have too much equipment on your on your desk that was a good question yeah i'll have to design something for that all right so again mini q press mini q mini drill press say that again say that three times fast so i guess i'll sign off again if this unless you got another question todd Nope. Alrighty, let's go for another dramatic exit with me looking around for my mouse. All right, Todd, thanks for stopping in. I'm following your stuff. I want to see what else you're doing. Um, are you doing the Eleanor? Did, um, have you received any pieces lately? And are, other than painting, are you doing any other modifications? Yeah, I haven't seen anything since November. I, I can't remember. It's been so long now. I can't remember if you're doing anything, any mods of the Eleanor. The only thing that's really bugging me on that is the air cleaner, which I, I'm, I'm trying to get my resin printer up and running so I can make a new air cleaner for it. No, not real. Yeah, it's pretty good the way it is. Just maybe some painting to make it your, your own a little bit on the undercarriage. All right, I was just asking. Hey, Todd, thanks for stopping by, and uh, I'll catch you later. Everybody take care.